I figured out that there are three basic techniques of what I call photo painting. Three ways of transforming an image or a photograph into a realistically looking digital painting which simulates different painting styles and brush strokes. First way is very simple and it is the most widely used. I call it auto painting. Automatic digital painting from a photo using software and filters is a process which utilizes sophisticated algorithms to transform an input image into a stylized painterly representation. This transformation relies upon the application of various digital filters, which can be configured to produce different artistic effects. One can think that this is so easy and anyone can do a masterpiece. Believe me not. You need to go under the hood of any software and tune its settings so it could respond to you with a beautiful result. The second photo painting technique is semi-manual. I refer to it as cloning or photo tracing. Here, you can digitally paint using your hand and a computer mouse or digital pencil. In this case, the software application picks up the colors and the shapes from the original image and places artistic strokes as new representations on a new layer. I personally love this method most of all, as I enjoy it very much. I feel that I have full control over the painting process, and for some time, I can feel myself as a real artist. And the third method I call smudging. This is similar to cloning, but there is a difference. The smudge brushes usually do not trace the original image, but shift and move the pixel straight on the source image, leaving trace of painterly brush strokes on it. Usually, smudge brushing would destroy the image details pretty much. However, this technique could perfectly fit into impressionistic or abstract photo painting. Now let me give you a few examples of these three photo painting techniques and applications that I use with them. Let's have a look at auto painting first. The most widely used tool for digital artists is definitely Photoshop. But Photoshop itself is more of a photo processing software. The default Photoshop filters are pretty much basic when it comes to artistic transformation. Of course, Photoshop has excellent art history and mixer brushes but I would consider them more for my image, tracing or smudge brushing techniques. For auto painting, Photoshop is good as a hosting software to run third-party artistic filters and plugins. Some of them are free and some are paid. There is a great variety of them in the market. Here I would share with you the tools which I prefer using in Photoshop. Number one tool for me is Akvis. Akvis has various plugins to transform photos to art, from sketch to oil paint and watercolor. I especially like the oil paint filter, which simulates beautiful brush strokes on images and AI art. Akvis tools are compatible with Photoshop on Windows and Mac. They also provide standalone version. The next plugin, which I would recommend, is from Jixpix software company. Similar to Aquis, Jixpix has a variety of tools, but I mostly use the Watercolor Studio and Impresso Pro plugins. They also work on Windows and Mac, as well as standalone version. The other filter that I use is SnapArt 4 from Exposure Software. They have a variety of painterly presets from oil and impasto to watercolor pastel and sketching, also available for Mac and Windows. There are some other Photoshop filters which work only on Windows computers. For example, the Redfield filters. I especially like the Quad Pencil filter, which simulates very special drawing style. Another good one is Virtual Painter Tool from LiveCraft. Beautiful artistic styles and high quality results. 
Automatic painting can be also produced in Photoshop, not only by filters, but also with actions. Actions is a tool in Photoshop where you can automate the sequence of actions which you apply to an image. There is a great variety of painting actions pre-made by computer artists. I usually can find them all in one place on Invado Market at Graphics, Add-ins, Photoshop. My favorite styles are from by Seven Styles. Giallo, Design Rocket Net, and Perfections. Here are some results which I made with these action tools. I'm planning to make a full course on how to use different actions in my Telegram channel. You can find the link to this channel in the description below. Let's have a look at other auto painting softwares, which are not Photoshop plugins, but work as standalone applications. My favorite and long love app is DAP software for Windows. The full name is Dynamic Auto Painter, made by Oscar from Media Chance Software Company. I have been using it for 20 years already. DAP is using very powerful brushing engine which simulates realistic painting styles and brush strokes of different famous artists. DAP has its own pre-installed presets, and there is a large library of custom-made presets shared by a wonderful DAP community. DAP runs only on Windows. PhotoSketcher is my next favorite standalone application for auto-painting. PhotoSketcher has been developed by David from France and it has been in the market for many years. David is regularly updating PhotoSketcher. Currently, it runs only on Windows. However, PhotoSketcher should be available on Mac in version 4 very soon. I have full course on PhotoSketcher, which I published on my Telegram channel. You can access it through the link in the description below. I also created presets and brushes to work in PhotoSketcher, which I also shared in my course. There are a couple of very good auto painting apps, which work only on my computers. The first one is Waterloak Pro. This is one of the best apps to automatically turn any photo into realistically looking watercolor painting. Waterloak has also an iPad application, but the Pro version for Mac is much more advanced. I usually pre-process or simplify a photo in another app before running it in Waterloo. This gives a much more watercolor looking effect to your image. I have a tutorial in my Telegram channel on using Waterloo and iColorama apps on iPad. I am planning to do another class on using Waterloo Pro and another app on Mac to achieve beautiful watercolor effects. You can subscribe to my courses following the link below this video in the description. The second app I wanted to mention is Brushstroke. This is a great auto painting tool. The Mac version is similar to the iPad version, but it is a little bit more advanced. Now, let's move to iPad and see what auto-painting apps we can find there. Why iPad but not Android? Because I found many interesting photo-painting applications which were developed only for iPad. One of my favorite auto-painting apps on iPad is Automaton. You simply upload an image to Automaton. Select the painting style and press the button. The program will paint automatically for you. The styles vary from paint to watercolor, sketch, crayon, etc. There are various settings which you can change to make your artwork look even better. In my tutorials, I was showing the settings which I developed for each app. In my workflow, 
I also mix different apps to make the final result absolutely stunning. You can check my video courses through the link under this video in the description. My next choice of photo painting app is Glaze. Glaze turns images into paintings, adding a thick glaze effect on it. I often use Glaze in combination with other apps, like iColorama. Glaze also upscales the output images to even 4K resolution. Next app is Brushstroke. I showed you this app earlier, how it works on a Mac computer. On iPad, Brushstroke has a bit different UI and features, but in general it can produce similar results as on Mac. Next is the family of Jixpix apps, which I also showed you earlier as the plugin in Photoshop. Impresso Pro, Watercolor Studio, Pastello. These are the flagmans of Jixpix apps. Their interface and functionality is absolutely identical as on computers. Next goes our wonderful Waterloke. This is probably one of the best watercolor simulation program on the market. It makes beautiful watercolor textures, shapes, and colors. I love combining iColorama and Waterloke to produce stunning watercolor artwork. Once again, check my courses on the link below where I explain how I do that. Moving forward, I have another family of apps from one company, Waterbrush, Picasso, and Graphite. Waterbrush is super easy and super powerful app to turn images into watercolor. This app has many presets. You can also play around with its settings to achieve even better results. Picasso has presets from oil to watercolor, sketch, tune, and pop art. You can find photo painting solutions to satisfy your needs. Similar with graphite. Go through the presets to see which suite you most. IC Painter has come as one of the apps from iColorama developer. IC Painter is pretty simple, but still can produce interesting brushstrokes automatically. Check it out and you will find this app quite useful. Brushwork is another auto painter. The app takes long to paint an entire image. However, it produces the brushstrokes of very high resolution. This is probably the reason of slow app performance. You can focus on certain parts to paint them in more details. For example, the eyes, nose, mouse, when you paint a portrait. In the next video, I will continue with cloning and smudging techniques of photo painting. Stay well and you know what to do if you want to get notified about new content arrival. And please check my Telegram channel to watch full courses on photo painting. You can find the link below in the description.